Hello everyone and welcome back to this channel. So I thought I'd just do like a little sit down kind of life update I guess because I've not done one of these in a while so I thought why not just sit down and have like a little chat and it'll kind of bring back to like the old days of the channel even though I've only had the channel for a year kind of just like the OG type videos you know. So I just wanted to give you a little life update, talk about some things just see how we go. I mean, I'm not sure if this will be interesting to some people, but I know a lot of people like the types of videos that I've done before, so you know, thought I'd um, bring some of those back. Um, I am, just before we start though, I am going to be posting more non-music reaction type videos, um, just because obviously my channel is just a mixture of things. Um, so I'm going to be posting a lot of videos kind of like related to Christmas and you know I still have to do my subscriber special and um, I just need to wait for my parents for that one and um, which I'm really excited about you know that could go anyway really um, I'm not gonna tell you what it is um because I think that kind of ruins the fun yeah I'm just gonna do a lot more fun videos like s please excuse the spot on my chin like I keep getting really bad like maskney from like working and things like just like on my chin around here but I'm sure we can all relate like it's not a big deal Um, I also wanted to say like I did take a break last week from posting because the week before I was like so unwell with like this viral thing like I'm not sure it was kind of like the cold but like not really the flu but like you know like that one where you just feel really like unwell but it's not really the flu I don't know and then I ended up getting tonsillitis and I recorded like five or six videos not knowing that I was like because this was like at the start of when I was like having get it, developing tonsillitis Um, honestly I've never had tonsillitis before and it was the most painful thing of my entire life like I couldn't swallow talk like everything was just so painful on this side um, and it's kind of stressing me out because it's like hurting every so often and I'm just like please no um but yeah because I know that you can get tonsillitis again like so I'm kind of praying that that's not what it's going to be so I took a break because I was really unwell for like two weeks and like I pushed through like recording and editing getting like all these videos done and I realized that maybe it wasn't helping me get any better because I tried to go to work and it didn't really work out so yeah I've just been recovering for the past two weeks so you know that's not been so fun um, no, there is exciting things to this video. Like, it's not just going to be me complaining about not being well and, like, not being able to do things because where I live, we got put into Tier 4, but we're coming out of Tier 4 this Friday. So, you know, that's exciting. Um, and it's also exciting because with the whole situation, I'll get to add Greg. As Greg is, like, a second bubble, so I can hopefully... I will, well I will because we kind of arranged it that I will be seeing him for Christmas because I haven't seen Greg in two months because of the whole Covid stuff and not being able to like go inside each other's house and we could like go for a walk or do things outside but with Greg's health like it's a bit too risky for me to do that and um, like I don't want to go into too much detail because I don't know if Greg would be okay with me talking about it on YouTube like I know that he's quite open about the things he goes through and stuff but I haven't had that conversation if he would want it on YouTube like because he will post things on socials and stuff but you know I need to have that talk with him first if that would be okay but yeah there's just stuff going on there where like it's a really risky for me to go and see him so I've not been we've just been facetiming a whole bunch and it's been really hard but you know we're getting there and I'm just really excited it's 16 days until I see him because I'm going to be seeing him, um, because I'm sure the bubble starts on the 23rd. Because um, we already have my grandma and my cousins as a bubble. So um, I was going to see him on the 23rd and then see him for a little bit on Christmas Day. Because I'm working Boxing Day, you know, joys of working retail. <laughs> um, which is another story in itself. Because I was like thinking that, sorry I got sidetracked, but like... I was just starting to stress out about this because we were talking about this at work like how is boxing day going to work this year because of like covid obviously they'll have to have a max number they can let in but i was like well if it gets like super busy like i will like start panicking like it's not ideal because the section i'm in at work is really small and it gets once like there's a certain amount of people like it feels so busy and like 
because of the size of it it's not like as big of floors as other floors so like you've got like you're here for example then there's like people here and the people there and then you're like stuck in a people sandwich and you're just like why is like this happening like please like can you move like it's not like really helpful <laughs> um so you know i'm just trying to figure out like i mean i'm sure it'll be fine but you know it's always that stress of like how is it actually going to work out um <sighs> sorry i had to go pause because i literally couldn't concentrate because my sister was screaming in the background and you can probably hear it but like i was trying to like ignore it because i noticed sometimes if they're loud downstairs like you can't sometimes can't always hear it but no she was like screaming and i was just like i can't do this like i have to like cut off and like come back and it was just it's just like i can't work like this i told them beforehand guys i'm gonna record a video and they're just like being loud as anything and it's very annoying <sighs> anyway so yeah like work's gonna be because i was talking to one of the security guys but because they were saying that they will only have like a certain amount of people so um that's good because they'll probably end up being a queue because honestly this like I, this is my first real retail job and last christmas like boxing day because we didn't work christmas but last boxing day oh my god that was the worst ex one of the worst experiences of my entire life i hated every single second of it it was so busy everyone was just everywhere there was like loads of people just like barging in and it was just very like claustrophobic and overwhelming and it just was not fun but i'm sure if you have worked in retail you will like know what it's like it's a bit hectic and you're just like no thanks um but yeah i got sidetracked because that was it so yeah i can't obviously see him on boxing day so that's why i'm going to see him on the 23rd for a little bit um so that'll be nice but obviously we'll be but i think if you're in a bubble i don't know like i need to do some more like looking into it because i know with my grandma's bubble we're like class is one household so like we don't have to like social distance or like that because we're classed as one household but with the christmas bubbles i don't think it's the same as that like you have to i'm sure they said you still have to self-isolate beforehand and afterwards and i don't think you're like you still have to like be caught obviously i'll still be cautious i just need to look into more of what the rules are so that i can like you know follow them um but yeah um so i'm really excited to see greg and because it's been a very long time and i've almost got finally almost got everything sorted for christmas because obviously i never got as much like I've built, there's been no overtime so i've got like not as much money but i'm sure a lot of people are in the same boat and it is just a very stressful time and um, i thought i would put it in this video actually because i want to see what you guys thought on youtube because i know that a lot of people who subscribe to me on youtube are in so like they don't follow me on instagram or anything like that so you would probably miss those types of things and i'm not at that point in youtube where i can just like post a story or like post in the community section so because people a lot because with like this type of time of year a lot of people like do what they got people for christmas or what they got for christmas and i was like oh yeah like we could do that but is it maybe a bit insensitive because of covid and like the pandemic and loads of people on instagram said no like the majority said no it's not insensitive and that they wanted those types of videos so um obviously like if you guys i thought you guys could have a say um because i would never want to offend anyone but obviously if i did do those videos i'd put like a disclaimer out and make sure that people know that i'm not trying to brag or that sort of thing um but yeah so lots of exciting videos coming up um christmasy related um i'll also be going back to an og video um and going back to like the mental health route which i'm excited about um and there is some exciting news um i don't think i actually spoke about it on the channel like i did speak about it on instagram and i'm like really congested right now i'm so sorry like i went so like after work um I decided to go for a walk because I was feeling really really anxious so um it was absolutely freezing like so cold um but do, from like the whole thing from work and like going the walk I'd done like 10 miles like 20,000 steps or so it says like that's what it was and I was like oh my god I've never walked out of my life probably so that's fun but I think because it was so cold and like immune system is non-existent 
Plus, I do think I have a lot of issues with my sinuses, so I mean, that's probably contributed. And I am getting so off topic today. I'm so sorry. I really hope this isn't that boring. Like, I just kind of, like, go from one topic to another, and then I forget what I'm talking about. And I'm like, wait, am I? Where was I? Like, where are we going with this? Um, where was I going with this? Um, but yeah, I went to walk, and it was fun. But there was a... Th what, what happened? There, there is good news. I think that's what I was saying. There is good news. Um, yeah, I think it's because I was talking about that and then I started like sounding nasally and I was like, I need to like address this, but I don't have to, like it's a whole thing. Anyway, moving on. So um, yeah, I didn't talk about this on the channel. I've only spoke about this on Instagram. Um, I can't remember when it was actually. I think it was like a month ago. So like what, we're in December now, so it wasn't November. I think it was in October, because I'm sure we went away in October and then it was after we'd come back from go being down south in England that we at uh, this happened. So there let's just cut to the chase, right? I'm really sorry. I struggle sometimes to like say something and there's so much going on in here. Um so while I was away like so I'll hmm anyway, let's start from the beginning. So most of you know that I suffer with well like yeah, like I had a history of um like I dealt with anorexia and you know depression, anxiety, um, PTSD, just to you know add to the list. Um, yeah, so I suffered with those things and like I didn't like fully um, finish. Well, no, I didn't finish high school. Um, I managed to get a few qualifications. Um, going to like um, a day centre because I was like and some of them I didn't really get qualifications in hospital but like I did school work in hospital and then when I went to the day centre I got my qualifications but like I had like a key nurse there and um, I was like really close with her and everything but like she left um, and she started doing other things and I found her on Instagram like was it like a year or two ago like I think it was like two years ago and I was like well I'm an adult now so I mean it should be fine so I followed her um and she's got that she's doing this she's working with this company called impact arts and they basically help young people build their confidence learn um work on their art skills and um, find things they like doing with art um they also i'm sure it's like they find out their next steps with like college or work and um, so they really like build their confidence in a lot of ways and help them through life and um, finding out things that they like and things like that um, they have them for lots of different areas. I know that they, I'm sure they have one in Ayrshire, Glasgow, and then they have the Edinburgh, and then they have one in Bathgate, um, like West Lothian. Um, and like, it only started off as me going into like where they were and just like talking about acting, but they would like interview me, trying to figure out what I'd done. And then we talk a little bit about acting and you'd ask me questions and then we just have a chat. Um, and then it was like, one was a Zoom call because then COVID happened. So the second time it was a Zoom call. Um, I think it was the, like the last couple of times have been Zoom calls and it was just like Zoom calls of like them asking me questions, um, interviewing me, like that sort of thing. Um, but before I went away, no, yeah, it was before I went away, um, Val, her name is, she... Um, emailed me and was like hey Megan um I have this I was just wondering if you would be interested in um coming and doing an interview with the young people again and I was like yep no that's completely fine like just let me know and I'll like do it so I get on the zoom call and it's just the two vals because they're both called Val who run it which I think is really cool um and it, there was no young people and I was like what is happening why is there no young people like why is it just us and um they basically asked me if I would like to do some acting workshops with the young people and I just thought that that was like amazing I was like oh my god yeah like I'd love to do that um because that's just so cool like it's such a good opportunity um and it's so out of my comfort zone um I'm smiling because there's like there's a whole thing to this and I'm gonna get to it <laughs> um so yeah, like I said, but obviously the time that she wanted me to do, like I was going away, so we had to do it for when I came back. I, so I went and done it and it was so amazing. Um, I um, put a PowerPoint together, which I couldn't remember how to do a PowerPoint to save my life. 
Um, I couldn't remember if we'd been taught that. I don't really think you get taught how to do PowerPoint Plus. It's quite easy, but like I find it hard to condense information. Um, so it was like, I was trying to like really like try and I, like I was looking through all my old acting work and like trying to like make it so that everyone could understand. Because I think sometimes with like acting stuff, they can be worded in a way and people are just like, I have no idea what they're talking about. So I'm trying to like word in a way that everyone would understand because I know that not everyone works the same way and stuff like that so I like made up the powerpoint and then they were like you need to come up with so and then I was like well we have so I could do a warm-up because like with acting classes you know you usually have like a war vocal warm-up and you play some like games and stuff like that but obviously via zoom like we couldn't play like the zap game or anything like that so um yeah like I've done some tongue twisters and like um oh my gosh what are they called yeah, like the tongue twisters and like a normal vocal warm up. Um, so that was exciting. But I really, really enjoyed the experience and the young people seem to really benefit from it and they really seem to enjoy it, um, which was really insane. And it was such a big thing for me because I always have had a fear of teaching acting. So I thought it was really ironic that this went so well um, because I always felt like because of the way that my mind works, like I didn't feel like I could teach someone something when I don't remember a lot of things because my brain is just like, bleh. Um, thanks anxiety for that. But um, yeah, so I was like really shocked because I'd always said, I don't want to be, don't want to do teaching for, I don't want to teach people acting. Like it's just not my strong point. Like I'm just not going to do it. And it's like turned out so well. Um, so much so that they asked me to come back for a second time, which is so exciting. Um, and I'm really, really looking forward to it because the young people seem to really enjoy it. And they seem to say that I was like really friendly and like approachable and like they really found what I was saying useful. And I think that that's so nice to hear that people find what you're teaching them to be helpful and that they because like they done like a little sheet at the end and like they gave people um like their chance to say their bit and all that and it, some of the comments were so lovely and one of the young people said that they were really like thankful because I'd helped them realize that they wanted to go into acting or and then someone said that it made them really want to push to be like a director and writer because you know they had the whole situation where no one believed that their career was real like it was just like oh like that's not a real job and it's like things like that that make my heart so warm that like people are maybe being told like oh like the same things that i've been told and that they want to pursue these things in like a positive way so you know it's been really exciting and i'm really excited to do it again so i'll be doing that again in february and um, so that's really exciting and i've also been auditioning for things as well and um, even if I don't get them I think it's just a fun experience and like I'm not going to take it personally um, or for granted I just think it's really exciting to be able to audition for things um, and I've auditioned for some really cool things that lately and you know like people have said you know the audition was really strong but you know it could be strong but then there's people who maybe fit the role a bit more so it's like I never take it personally because you know it's maybe I'm just not what they're looking for in some ways so you know it's okay there'll be other jobs you know I'm just really hoping that you know I do get a job eventually like for acting because you know that would be great I really don't want to be in retail for the rest of my life <laughs> um but you know I'm manifesting it it's gonna happen one day not the retail part the acting part like you know I'm not gonna be in retail for the rest of my life acting is gonna happen um but yeah um so things have been actually all right here um I just realized I hadn't spoken about that um, oh my gosh, sorry, I'm gonna yawn. I don't even know why I'm tired. No idea. Probably still excess tired from the walk that I done it like last night. Um yeah, I've been not I've not been sleeping very well. Like it's weird because I'm a lightweight and I spoke about this before in the channel, like I am honestly such a lightweight. It gets to like ten or eleven and I'm like and I'll just fall asleep like instantly and I'm always tired. Well, like, lately my sleep's been so up and down, but I think it may just be the weather with it being, like, thunder and lightning and then, like, rainy. And then, like, it doesn't help that my sisters are really loud, which I've already addressed. Like, they were starting arguing because Molly couldn't find her brush. So when she goes into Lucy's rooms, like, where's my brush? And this is, like, 
12 in the morning like 12 at night and I'm like you guys are arguing over a brush and I'm trying to sleep and then my dad got up to go like shower or something it was really loud so I was like well that's me up and it was like seven or six or so pardon me and I was like I just I'm not meant to sleep um I feel like I am a light sleeper but I'm not I think it just depends because my mom was like did you hear the, like the thunder and lightning I think it was on like Thursday and I was like no um but yeah that was really off topic but it could also be because my anxiety has been kind of like up and down um there is a reason for that but I don't know how much I can't really go into that much detail about it but you know um it's just because it's kind of become like a legal matter not like to alarm anyone but um it's just yeah like I don't know how much I'm allowed to say because you know it could be like slander or things you know um but basically there's a situation happening around me that's making me uncomfortable not like from people inside my home if you get what I mean I'm trying to be really subtle so you know I'm being made to feel really uncomfortable in my own home like it's kind of virgin on harassment like personally on my opinion I'm not gonna say who it is not saying any names but people can obviously take what they will I mean I don't even think the people involved would be watching the channel but you never know um but yeah basically like constantly looking in the window like staring making me uncomfortable and I'm like can you leave me alone please bye bye <laughs> like one time I got so stressed I was like what's the problem like i just made the motion of like what's the big deal like what's your problem because it's so stressful like it's caused me to have like an almost panic attack because of how anxious this made me feel and it's just very not ideal so i would rather it didn't happen but you know there's a whole thing about that though and i would i really want to do a story time about this but you know i need to wait for it to not be like a whole thing and for me to be able to talk about this openly because I'm not sure and I don't want to get sued so <laughs> not that I would probably get sued I'm probably being dramatic but you know what I mean like I just don't want it to you know for for them to like take it out of context and make it worse because that's a whole thing that's going on like people assuming things and throwing accusations around that aren't really true and then going with it making our lives more difficult and uncomfortable and then yeah it's a whole thing but if I can I will be making a story time on this because you know I think um I would I think it would benefit me to talk about it on this channel properly in depth um but yeah apart from that I haven't really been up to anything too exciting because obviously as I said we're in tier four we come out of that on Friday um yeah nothing too exciting I've literally just been going to work recovering from being ill having tons of light is for the first time I really enjoyed the break from YouTube though like from not posting because I have loads of videos like music reaction videos like recorded that I have no freaking clue what to do with like they're actually coming out my ears and I have so many requests and I'm like ah and then but I'm also like trying to like hold them off because I have so many other ideas for other videos and it's like a whole thing I also was thinking about maybe going live on the channel for like one time not really sure what I'd do maybe just have a chat like this who knows but I know that they are really good for things. Or maybe I could just do like music reactions or like do multiple different things. Who knows? But I'm getting off topic now. But I just thought I would sit down, have a chat with you guys and just ramble on as per usual. And, you know, just talk about some things. Really be candid. I mean, I probably will just edit like the bits where I pause. Like that's literally it. Um, and yeah, so I mean, it's been really, I've really enjoyed I like really like these types of videos where you just get to be like your full self and just get to ramble on about nothing and my sister was like do vlog this and I'm like really like I literally struggle to edit like two videos or three videos a week let alone record it and edit in a video every single day plus my life is extremely boring like I'm not like Morgan Adams who can just like go to Ryland's house and be like oh my god like let's go to um, Target and get a tree like I can't do that we're in tier four like yeah like vlogmas would be so boring if I'd done it for the time being like obviously 
want to channel growth I might consider it when my life's a wee bit more exciting but you know we're not quite there yet but um the subs are going up and every, the channel is growing so you know that's really nice and heartwarming and you know makes me happy so I'm gonna stop here before I ramble on and this becomes like a massively long video of me just talking complete and utter nonsense but yes I hope you guys enjoyed this video um I know it's different from what I usually do or and it's not what most people are used to if they're just used to the reaction videos but obviously if you're an og subscriber you will know that i used to do like these type of videos a lot where i just do like check-ins or just like talk randomly and you know just for fun so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you on the next one bye